better. Countdown to 50. This one is integral to the future of motorsport in Barbados, in the Caribbean, and also to Bushy Park, and we really appreciate what you guys do. Very good evening to you with the CBC Sports News. I'm Damien Best. Well, the West Indies Cricket Board has again rejected calls for a dissolution as the ruling body for West Indies Cricket. The most recent call for the board to resign came yesterday from a group that included cricket legends Sir Garfield Sobers, Sir Wes Hall, Sir Andy Roberts, and Sir Vivian Richards. However, in a news release from the WICB this evening, the board noted that with an average of 90% of all the commission reports received being implemented, then there's no justification for the board to be dissolved. Also mentioned were the three world titles won this year in the space of about three months, which the board linked to the high performance program implemented just over two years ago. The WICB also hit back at the detractors calling on them to focus on other issues like promises made by governments to contribute to the growth of cricket through areas like hosting matches and international series, continuing to facilitate development, creating a more enabling environment for a movement around the region, revitalizing cricket in the schools across the region and assisting in the setting up of territorial academies. The board says it will host its annual retreat in the early part of the summer. Other players and their representatives, technical team, management, staff and directors will be invited to help chart the way forward. Well, it was the Mumbai Indians' first home win of the season as they defeated the Royal Challengers Bangalore by six wickets at the Wankhede Stadium early today in the IPL. Rohit Sharma was the star with the bat for the winners as he made 40 or 44 balls 62 to help overall the 170 set for victory as his side ended on 171 for four in 18 overs. The hard-hitting Kairon Pollard got Mumbai over the line with a knock of 40 off 19 balls. Iqbal Abadullah took three for 40. Well, earlier, RCB had posted 170 for seven in their 20 overs, with Jasper Bruma taking three for 31. Here are the highlights of the encounter. Well, that's a big shot. That's gone, six. Different line, different angle. is on strike, racks it down the ground and is taken at long off. It's played away nicely, right out of the middle of the bat, only a single of the last ball. Now they've come back very strongly at the end of it, 170 for the loss of seven. That's up in the air. And taken. Well, that's a great shot. And that's the first six of the night. Well, there you go. Innovation. Thank you very much. Well, he just dances down the wicket and thumps the ball to the boundary. So what and that's just helped along nicely. It's a head down the ground. Have a look at the range and the execution. Perfectly done by Ryder. There's some bowlers early in the tournament rather than waiting too late. And that's a biggie. That's up in the air. 
and this should be taken. So an important wicket here. Oh, beautiful shot. Great use of the feet. And again, this one even bigger. Right on the third tier. That's out. It's here. There he goes. It's a smash. It's a full hand smash. Worked against Pola. He goes big again. Big levels and big six. It's an edge that'll do very nicely for Mumbai Indians. And they win this in the end quite easily by six wickets. Well, Barbados Hilton Resort Warriors stayed in the hunt for a playoff spot last night when they defeated Burger King Clapham Bulls in the Co-Operators General Insurance BABA Premier League at the Wildey Gym. Meanwhile, in the night's other game, leaders Orange Three Pylons kept VYB Patriots winless with a 90-63 result. CBC Shane Jones reports. Bulls in black against Warriors. Halle Franklin spins his way through traffic and gets the bucket. A little shake and bake from Keelan Phillips out to Raheem Gibbons. Nails the long two. Nicholas King for Warriors now. All the way and floats it in. Catch, shoot, bang. But check out Bulls on the break. They led 28 to 25 at the half. Warriors starting strong in the second half. Corey McDonald from beyond the arc. Game high 19. Tit for tat. Phillips buries the three ball. He had 13. Warriors from the corner now finding their groove. Yep, really pulling away. Sweet spot for McDonald. Three more. Good from downtown. And they went on to win 68 to 60. Game two now. Pinelands in orange against the lowly Patriots. Jeremy Gill steps inside and gets it to drop. Sean Einfield from a tight angle and he bangs it in. Ramon Simmons with a jumper from downtown. That's nice. Stefan Brathwaite for Pats. Strong in the paint, two of his eight. Pinelands kept on the pressure though. That's Dwayne Pollard. Junior Moore this time on the left. He scored 13 points on the night. Getting too easy for Pinelands. Captain Jeremy Gill of 17. And they rolled over the Pats, 90 to 63. Shane Jones, CBC Sports. Well, thanks, Shane. Now to tonight's Olympic moment. It's another lesson in what the Olympic spirit is all about. Olympic Moments, brought to you by Sajikar General Insurance, Sandals Barbados, and Good Time Snacks. Los Angeles, 1984. Gabriella Anderson Schiess of Switzerland participated in the first women's Olympic marathon. John Benoit had won the race in 2 hours, 24 minutes, and 52 seconds. But 20 minutes after that, then the 39-year-old Anderson Schiess entered the stadium. The crowd gasped in horror as she staggered onto the track, her torso twisted, her left arm limp, her right leg mostly seized up from severe heat exhaustion. She waved away medical personnel who rushed to help her, knowing that if they touched her, she would be disqualified. The LA Coliseum crowd applauded and cheered as she limped around the track in the final 400 meters, occasionally stopping and holding her head. While the effects of heat exhaustion were plainly evident, trackside medics saw that she was perspiring, which meant that her body still had some disposable fluids. Therefore, they let her continue, marching to the finish line. Still waving away offers of assistance, Anderson Sheesh wavered from one lane to the next, bearing close to the orange cones which marked the outer side of the track. Then, almost hunched over, bearing back again to the inner side, the distance narrowed with each step. Then, with a final stagger into lane number two, she crossed the finish line. 
to be greeted by three Olympic officials. Now in placing 37th, Gabby Anderson Sheesh didn't win a medal, but she had conquered the first ever women's Olympic marathon. Plus, she had marked this particular event for history with her brave efforts to not just start, but also to finish the race, all in the name of the Olympic spirit. Olympic Moments, brought to you by Sajikar General Insurance, Sandals Barbados, and Good Time Snacks. A reminder for you, CBC TV is an official broadcaster of the 2016 Olympic Games. That's it for Sports, the business report, up next. Where do all those coconut shells go? Are your household garbage? How does waste get diverted from the landfill? You can find out on May 2nd when SBRC has a big open day. Free charter buses.